Um, I'm pleased to, br uh, to bring up Mr. Francesco Sorace, the CEO and General Manager of Enel. So, uh, <clears throat> we've heard a lot of biggest, uh, the biggest this, the biggest that. I think we are all very large companies. We don't need to explain too much about ourselves. I think we should focus a little bit on a few things. First of all, we're all in agreement about what uh, we're trying to achieve. There's no more to say about that. What we want to make clear is that, as Antonio said, energy for us uh, is important for two reasons. One, the first is because we are an about energy, so <laughs> excuse us. The second is without energy, it's difficult to talk about anything else uh, in, in a modern sense. So we focus here on how we want to go about energy on a sustainable way. And that's a little bit more complex. Um, we have put sustainability at the heart of the corporate culture, not just a business plan, which means that we will not go about sustainability, if not on a creating shared value approach everywhere across the value chain, from development to construction to operating our facilities. And it has to do also in the way we treat our customers worldwide, which has a little bit of an impact on a big utility, if you can maybe have your own experiences on how utility is treating you typically. Um, we are going to change the way we go about growth. We scrapped large installations. We said a large installation that takes 10 years to be permitted and built is unsustainable intrinsically because things get changed around the installation those, in those years. By the way, it, by the time it's finished, after a long fight typically, basically finds itself in a different world. And <laughs> it is no more uh, such a good idea. So we scrapped that and we developed a very large, one of the biggest pipelines, uh, projects of mid and small size of all technologies around the world. By scrapping large installations, we intrinsically scrapped coal plants, not because we don't like coal, but because coal is large and takes a long time to develop. It's tough luck. <clears throat> Typically, we talk about sustainability and then somewhere else we talk about innovation. We think we cannot keep these two things separated. They will be together. So basically our approach is to bring innovation and sustainability at the same level because it's just the way to go. Four goals, our commitment. The first one is uh, the Sustainable Development Goal 7. This is about access. And our commitment is to move into an access mode, so have enough electricity 3 million people, the 3 million people in Africa, Asia, and Latin America by 2020, which is not far away. That has to do with energy, uh, energy access, and it has to do with microgrid development. 500 on that microgrid, 2 million and a half on the other side. Second goal, SDC, uh, the goal 13, combat ch uh, climate change. Here, our commitment is to go neutral by 2050, so zero emission by then. That's what we are going to achieve probably a little earlier than that. To do that, growth is on renewables, 50% increase on renewable uh, funding one year from the other. We have today 8.8 .8 billions on renewables. Third goal is the fourth, SDG4, education. We are going to inclusive and equitable quality education, 400,000 people by 2020, we'll undergo capacity training on, sub, on energy uh, matters in, uh, in, uh, according to our effort. And the fourth goal is the eight, and this has to do with entrepreneurial activities. Here we are going to have 500 people accessing businesses that uh, they will be their own businesses thanks to funding that we will provide them in order to have entrepreneurial activities at local level around our installation worldwide. Thank you very much for your attention.